Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Bold Metal Nerd coming at you with another vid here. In this one, we're going to be talking about a pool robot. I believe it is the Dolphin Active 10, or equivalent. You can get it as like the E10. Uh, it's the lower end of the Matronics Dolphin line. It was about 600 bucks, so it cost more than my pool and <laughs> several accessories. But you know what? Uh, I've ran this thing several times uh, since I've owned it, and it does a pretty great job of uh, cleaning up your pool. I actually have two filter types for it. Uh, this is the one that it comes with. It's a standard, obviously. You can kind of see through that pretty well. Um, and this is good for, you know, picking up larger debris like leaves and all that, which is the one I'm going to be using in the pool today because there's a decent amount of leaves in the bottom of the pool. So I'm just going to put the... Uh, and that's the one it comes with. Uh, and then you can buy another filter box, which is the fine filter. And I do recommend getting this if you do get one of these units. Um, it's good for picking up smaller things like algae or other small particles kind of on the bottom of the pool. Uh, it doesn't do as well with larger things like leaves and all that, but one thing you have to do after you uh, use it is make sure you clean it out real thoroughly. So uh, to use this item, it's pretty simple. So I'm going to pause real quick, get this thing ready for use. And, oh, wait. Actually, before I do that, I'll just show you all the parts. Obviously, we got just the main robot here. There's a bunch of the cord. <laughs> and there's the uh, control box. So... All you got to do, really, to use this thing is you plug plug the uh, control unit into power, obviously. You just press the power button, and then the robot pretty much just goes to work. So I'm going to pause real quick, get this thing set up, and then we'll take a look at this thing uh, in work. All right, folks, we're going to take a look in the pool now just to see what kind of debris, you know, there's in there before. And as you can see, there is a decent amount of leaves on the bottom of the pool for sure. And I just put the robot in. All you got to do to basically get it in the pool is just really set it on the uh, top of the pool. And what happens is the robot will sink down to the bottom. And then uh, it just starts, as you can see, kind of, uh, it start, it's trying to climb that wall a little bit. It'll just basically do its thing. We're going to just give it a moment here. And the little guy is now just, you know, going around the pool. Sometimes they'll go over the same area a few times. There's no real set pattern that they do. Uh, it kind of varies each time uh, it's in there, but it does a pretty good job of cleaning. So what we'll do is we'll check this in about 90 minutes and we'll see how much of the debris it got up because it takes 90 minutes for the cycle. So see you then. Well, folks, uh, the uh, robot completed its cleaning cycle. And uh, as you can see, it did a great job of picking up all of the debris. The robot is just at a rest in its spot there, so it's feeling fine. And uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, um, I tried with the uh, pool vacuum and all that before, the hose, you know, that tried that approach. It's horrible, never worked right. Absolutely terrible. Whereas uh, this, nice and easy, and works every time, so. No complaints. Um, I would say getting one of these robots would be a great investment for pretty much any pool owner. So um, what I will do uh, is I will put some links, affiliate links, uh, down below if you're interested in checking out you know, one of these types of models for yourself on Amazon or whatever. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this. As always, live long and prosper. Keep on rocking. I'll see you guys soon.